All right. Tummy in tight. Roll the shoulders back. And we're ready to do our bicep curls. So let's do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Drop the weights to your sides. We're doing, uh, working on our deltoids now. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Bring your weights to your shoulders. We're gonna go straight up. Keep that tummy in tight. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Taking one of your weights, drop it behind you. Open the chest up. And now we're gonna work on our triceps. So if you come into your tabletop position, grabbing your weight, arm at 90 degree angle, tummy in tight, and really squeeze your triceps. We'll do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. And now bring your leg into a fire hydrant pose. I'm, I've got my right leg up, doesn't really matter which leg. Let's pump it 10 times, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it out in your child's pose. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it out in child's pose. And we're ready for our second set. Come in tight, shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop the weights. Deltoids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, weights to the shoulders. This time we're gonna squeeze our shoulder blades together and push up from there, eight, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. Take one of your weights in both hands, drop it behind you, open the chest up nice and wide. And back to our tabletop position. For the triceps, tuck your tummy in. Let's go eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, eight. This time we're working on our glutes. So extend one leg, point the toes, you wanna to engage the whole body, tummy and tight, squeeze the glutes. Let's do 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, stretch it out. And the other side, extend the leg, come in tight, point the toes, let's do 20, squeeze in the glutes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Stretch it out. And our last set. Shoulders back, tummy in tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Drop the weight, still twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Bring your weights to your shoulders straight up from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Take one weight in both hands. Drop it behind you. Open the chest up. And back to tabletop. Come in tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, eight. We're working on the glutes again. Extend one of your legs, put a 90 degree angle in the leg. Tummy and tight, squeezing the glutes. We're gonna raise our leg 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And stretch it out. And the other side, extend, put a 90 degree angle in the leg, tummy and tight, squeeze the glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch it out in your child's pose. And we are all done. This segment. And we're going to work on our yoga now. So it would be handy if you happen to have a yoga block, a strap, a stretchy band, or in its place, nylons or stocking. And maybe even some extra padding. I've got some extra padding here. Hopefully I'll remember to use it for boat posts today. It's been requested, uh, boat pose. Some of you know that boat pose is my absolute least favorite pose, <laughs> but it's good for you. So let's come to the present moment by listening to our bowl. Place one hand on the heart, the other under the abdomen. We'll take three deep breaths here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we'll just do a little bit more pranayama. This time I will work on sitali pranayama. I'll come a little closer so you can see how to do it in case some of you haven't done it before. So you're gonna stick your tongue out and make a straw-like um, shape. If your tongue doesn't do, do that, not everyone's tongue can do that, you can fold your tongue in half like this. And then what you're gonna do is breathe in. So it's a straw, you're making like a straw with your tongue. So you're either breathing in like this or like this. And then close your mouth and exhale through the nose. 
So let's do that a few times. Breathing in. And out. Now do it at your own pace. Last one. So that's a really good pranayama for cooling you down if you're overheated. And we'll do a little face yoga. So, opening up the mouth really wide and looking up. Close the mouth, grin and squint. Suck in the cheeks, release with a kiss. Turn your head to one side, tilt your chin up, bring your bottom teeth on top of your top teeth for swan neck. Come to center and the other side. Lift the chin up, bottom teeth on top of top teeth. And come to center, so that's really good to prevent our uh, double chin from growing. So let's open our mouths up one more time and look up. Close the mouth, grin and squint. And lastly, suck in the cheeks, release with a kiss. Place one hand on top of the head, draw your ear to your shoulder. Come to center, switch hands, the other side. Come to center, roll your shoulder blades back, shoulders back, open the chest up, lips together, drop the head back. So you're gonna be opening up the chest here. And it's also good for that double chin. Come to center, interlace your fingers behind your head, draw your chin into your chest. Come to center, we'll do our seated twist. So take um, a deep breath and stretch one arm up. Exhale, plant the hand behind you. Take your other hand, bring it outside of your knee. Take a deep breath here, in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Squeeze and twist with your back straight, coming to look over your shoulder. Don't over twist, be careful. Slowly and carefully unwind. Coming back to center, deep breath and stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to center. So the other side, deep breath in, stretch the other arm up. Exhale, plant the hand behind you. Other hand outside of the knee. Deep breath here into the nose. Exhale, everything slowly, carefully. Squeeze and twist, coming to look over the shoulder. You can still be breathing. You just be breathing shallowly. Slowly and carefully unwind. Coming back to center, deep breath here, stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to center. Drop your chin to your chest, roll your head to one side. And then the other side. Come to the center, we'll do it again. Drop the chin to the chest, roll your head to one side. And then the other side. Come back to center, roll the shoulders, really squeeze those shoulder blades together as you come back and spread them apart as you come forward.
and change direction. Taking one arm, cross it over your chest and draw it in toward your chest, circle your hand. Change direction. Shake it at other side, cross it over, circle. Change direction. Shake it out, extend one arm in front of you, flip the palm, draw the palm back toward your body. Shake it out, other side, extend, flip, draw the palm back. Shake it out. So we're gonna do the pretzel now. Take one of your feet, bring it outside the opposite knee. Have a nice straight back, wrap your knee, draw your knee into your chest nice and tight with them. Uh, keeping that back straight, hopefully feeling the stretch in your hip. And then the other side. Draw that knee in, straight back. And release. Plant one hand beside you on your mat. Stretch the other arm up, knees upwards. Lips together. And the other side. And come to center. So we're ready to come into our tabletop position. And we'll start with cat and cow. So taking a deep breath in, drop the belly, raise the head, or cow. Exhale, arch the back, tuck the chin in for cat. Inhale, back to cow. Exhale, back to cat. Inhale for your last cow. Exhale for your last cat. And then come to center. We're going to work on our shoulders. So have your arms nice and straight. Lock your elbows. Drop your chest towards the mat. Push your chest forward. Bring it up, around, and down. Making a circular motion with the chest. Again, spreading your shoulder blades open as you come up. Squeezing them together as you come down. One more time. And back to tabletop. Take your knees and bring them tight together, then drop your hips to one side. And then the other side. Come to center. Open up your knees, sit back on your heels. Stretch your arms out in front of you for a wide knee child's pose. Spread your fingers open wide. Connect your third eye to the mat. Just envision drawing in the beautiful earth energy in through your palms, in through your third eye, rippling it through your body until it reaches your toes. And then give your toes a little wiggle. Coming up to tabletop, we're going to do something a little different. Instead of uh, working on our hip joints standing up, we're, just, we're going to work on it from this position. So raising one leg up so that it's sort of back into your um, fire hydrant pose. We're going to just circle um, that leg. So we're like drawing a circle with our knee. Let's do it one more time. And then change direction. One more time. 
Stretch it out with child's pose. And come back to tabletop. So we're going to do that on the other side. So raise the other leg up like in fire hydrant pose. And then make a circle with that knee. And then change direction. Come back to table, stretch it out in a child's pose. And then back to table, time to work on our balance. Extend one leg. When you're ready and steady, extend your opposite arm. Pull the tummy in tight, flex the foot. Push the heel back. If you want to challenge yourself further, you can bend up that leg, grab the foot, and kick into the hand. Release, stretch it out in child's pose. And the other side. Extend the other leg. And its opposite arm. Flex the foot, push the heel back. If you want to challenge yourself further, bend that leg, catch the foot, kick into the hand. Release, stretch it out in child's pose. And back to tabletop. So we are ready for our first down dog. Tuck your toes, raise your hips up. Coming into your down dog, pedal your legs here. Pause and push both heels down towards the mat. Tuck the chin into the chest. Gaze forward, you can hop or walk up to the top of your mat. And taking a deep breath and come all the way up to prayer, to heart center, to mountain pose. And then give it a shake and a twist. So opening the legs up, put a bend in the knees. Let's do our big hip circles. Really bend forward as you come forward. Back as you go back. One more time. And then change direction. And come to center and twist it out. Extend one leg in front of you, point the toes, flex the foot, point and flex, point and flex. Last time, point and flex and circle your foot. Change direction. Draw it in, twist out. Other side, point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. Last time, point and flex and circle. Change direction. Draw it in, twist out. We're going to do swimming arms. So front crawl, put a sway into it, a bend into it so you can really stretch your back out. And then change direction. And then you can make your way to center. And shake it out, twist it out. So we're going to do super brain yoga. Take your left arm, cross it over your chest. Grasp your earlobe, thumbnail pointing forward. Other arm, cross it over your chest, grasp your earlobe, thumbnail pointing forward. Place your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Keep it there the whole time. We're coming into chair pose 15 times. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, fifteen. And take it out, twist it out. So let's do stomach back today. We haven't done stomach vacuum in a long time. So I think it'd be good to do it before we forget how. So opening up our legs with a little bend in the knees. Bring your fingertips so they're behind your ears. And what I'm gonna do is lift my shirt up a bit here so that you can see a bit of my stomach. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale everything. Draw your belly button in toward your spine. Suck it under your ribs. And then holding your breath, twist. Be very careful. Don't over twist. You're trying to work on trimming your waist here. So you're twisting until you run out of breath. Once you run out of breath, you can stop and shake it out and twist it out. So we'll do that two more times. Little bend in the knees, fingertips behind the ears, deep breath in, exhale everything. Draw your belly button in toward your spine, suck it under your ribs and twist. Hold your breath. When you need to breathe, stop. Shake it out, twist it out one more time. Little bend in the knees, fingertips behind the ears, deep breath in. Exhale everything. Draw your belly button in toward your spine, suck it under your ribs, twist. And breathe when you need to. So we're ready for our sun salutation. Come to the top of your mat. Hands at heart center. Take a deep breath and stretch up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Step one leg back and then the other leg back. Coming into your high plank. If this is not good for you, just drop your knees. Swivel your elbows so the insides face forward. Inhale, shift the body forward and then chaturanga down. Inhale to a low cobra or a full cobra or knees off the mat, facing upwards for upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, raise the hips up. Coming into your down dog and pedal here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat, tuck the chin into the chest. Release your head, give it a shake. Take a deep breath and raise the right leg up. Come to the ball of the left foot and then swing the right leg forward. We're coming up into a warrior one. So have your back foot at that 45 degree angle. Shift your hips forward, front knee over your ankle if your knee can take that today. If not, straighten it out. Stretch your arms up to warrior one arms, gazing upwards. Lift your toes up, clamp them down. Envision drawing that beautiful earth energy in through the feet, up through the core. Shooting it out through your fingertips to the universe. Now swing your arms behind your back. Catch your elbows. Straighten out your front leg. Deep breath here. In through the nose. Exhale, fold forward. Drop your head. Keep your head loose. If you need to reach for the mat for balance, go ahead. Slowly come back up. Put the bend back in your front leg. 
reach back up to warrior one. I'm just going to check that note. Sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> Manuel, can you do that again? And then we're going to open up into warrior two. So lift the toes up, plant them down. Draw the earth energy in through your feet, up through the core, tuck in the tailbone, suck in the abs, gaze over your front fingertips. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Oh, um, it's not working that well for everybody. Amber says it's working for her. Are you okay, Emanuela? Can you send a note back and we'll see if it's working? Let's see. All good, Emanuela Eloise says. Okay, we'll keep going. All right, so back to our warrior two. And flip the front palm, draw it up, gaze upwards. Rest your forearm on your thigh, palm facing up. Bring the other arm over your ear for extended side angle pose. If you wish to reach your um, hand to the mat, you can. And then come back to your warrior two. Straighten out your front leg. Let's take a deep breath here in through the nose, out through the mouth. Shift forward, come into triangle pose. Sink a little deeper. At the waist, pivot into your airplane pose. Continue to pivot into your revolved triangle pose. Come back to airplane. Come back to triangle. Sink a little deeper. Flip your front palm so it faces forward and draw it up. Gaze upwards for reverse triangle. Cartwheel your arms back down to the mat. Step back into high plank. Swivel your elbows so the insides face forward. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, low cobra, full cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And pedal here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat. Put the chin into the chest. Release the head, give it a shake, keep a deep breath in, raise the left leg up, come to the ball of the right foot, swing the left leg forward, I'm up into your warrior one, back foot 45 degree angle, front knee over ankle, shift the hips forward, stretch the arms up, gaze upwards, lift together. Swing the arms behind the back, catch the elbow, straighten out the front leg. Deep breath here, in through the nose. Exhale, pull forward. Keep the head loose. If you need to reach for the mat, go ahead. Slowly come back up. Put the bend back in the knee. Arms back to warrior one arms. And open up into your warrior two. Change the angle of the back foot. So it's parallel to the back of the mat. Front knee still over, ankle gaze over your front fingertips. Lift your toes up, plant them down. Draw the earth energy in through the feet, up through the core. Tuck in the tailbone, suck in the abs. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Give your glutes and release them. Flip your front palm so it faces the sky. Draw it up for reverse warrior. Gaze upwards. Rest your forearm on your thigh, palm facing up. Bring the other arm over the ear. Extend the side angle pose. Okay. 
Come back to warrior two, straighten out the front leg. Deep breath here into the nose, out through the mouth. Shift forward, come into triangle pose. Sink a little deeper. At the waist, pivot into airplane pose. Continue to pivot into revolve triangle pose. Come back to airplane. Come back to triangle. Sink a little deeper. Flip your front palm so it faces forward and draw it up or reverse triangle. Cartwheel your arms all the way back down to the mat. Step back into your high plank. Swivel your elbows so the insides face forward. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, low cobra, full cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And pedal here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat. Tuck the chin into the chest. Release your head, give it a shake. Take a deep breath in. Raise the right leg up. Put a bend in the leg. And then stack your hips. If you would like to come into wild thing, just keep going back. And drop your arms your arm back, opening up your chest, and then come back. Bring your right knee in toward your nose. Push off the ball of your back foot. Point your right toes. You're trying to create a beautiful arch with your body, so really tuck your chin in. And then we're gonna swing our right leg forward. And we're gonna bring our right hand inside of our right foot. So you can see it there, my right hand is inside of the right foot. So we are now in our lizard position. If you need to, you can shift your back leg a little further back for more stretch, or you can drop your knee if that's better for you. So hold it right here in lizard pose. Now, if you want to challenge yourself further, drop that knee, that left knee, raise the left foot up. Roll your right foot to the side. And then you're gonna reach back and grab with your right hand, your left foot. So that you're really stretching your quads out. So can you see, I um, hope you can see that my Right foot is on the side, and I'm really pulling my left foot so that I'm stretching my quads out. You don't have to take it to this level. And release. Step back into your high plank. Swivel your elbows so the inside face forward. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga down. Inhale, low cobra, full cobra, or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And pedal your legs here. Pause, push both heels down towards the mat. Tuck the chin into the chest. Release your head, give it a shake. Take a deep breath in. Raise the right leg up. Put a, that's right, the left leg. Put a bend in the left leg. Stack your hips. You can stay right there or drop back, open the chest up, dropping the left arm back into your wild thing. And then come back. Bring your left knee in toward your nose. Point your left foot. You're on the ball of the right foot. Tuck your chin in, creating that beautiful arch. And then swing the left leg forward. You might want to shift your right leg down the mat so that your front chin is a 90 degree angle to the floor. Take your left hand, bring it inside of your left foot. You can stay right here for lizard pose or you can drop your knee or you can roll that left foot to the side, raise up your right foot 
With your left arm, reach back, grab that foot, and push your chest forward. You're really stretching your quads out. So this is sometimes called the corkscrew position. <laughs> And release. Bring your knees together. Beyond the balls of your toes. Place your hands to your lower back. We're coming into camel pose. Drop the head back, lips together. If you can do it, you can reach for your heels. Or if you need to, open up your legs a bit wider. Squat, place your hands on your heels and then come up from there. And we'll counter it with rabbit pose. So taking your head, place it on the mat as close to your knees as possible. Flatten your feet out, grab your heels, push your rear end up. So you're really spreading apart your shoulder blades and stretching out your lower back for rabbit pose. And now come back to tabletop. Tuck the toes, raise the hips up for down dog. Look forward, walk up to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in, come all the way up to prayer, to heart center, to mountain pose, and then give it a shake and a twist. So I think we need a little bit of a pranayama break. So I'm going to grab my stretchy bin. You have your stretchy bin, stockings, nylon, whatever. You don't have any of these things. You can just modify without them. So we're going to hold our, if you need to take um, a sip of water now, this will be a good time to do it. So you're holding your stretchy bin a bit taut. We're going to be breathing in through the nose on the upswing. And exhaling through the mouth on the back forward swing. Ready? Breathing in. And exhale. Breathe in. Exhale as you come forward. One more time. And shake it out, twist it out. So we are ready for our standing poses. Tree pose, take a deep breath and stretch the arms up. Float the arms down. Catch one leg, bring it out to the side, slide the foot in. You can remain there or raise it to your calf or tuck it into your inner thigh. And then when you're ready and steady, roll your branches. You can make a mudra with your fingers at heart center or above your head, wherever you like. And release. And shake it out. Twist it out. So the other side. Deep breath and stretch up. Float the arms down. Catch the other leg. Bring it out to the side. Slide the foot in. Or raise it to your calf. Just skip the knee. We just don't want to put our foot on our joint. And when you're ready and steady. Throw your branches, staring at one point in front of you on the floor to help you get your balance.
and release. And shake it out. Twist it out. So today we're going to do eagle pose. So for eagle pose, maybe I'll come a little bit closer to you so that you can see my arms. So taking a deep breath and stretch the arms all the way up and then swing your right arm under your left arm. Then bring your hands to your shoulders. So your elbows should be stacked one on top of the other. You can stay right here or you can bring your hands so that they're back to back or you can wrap your hands so that the bottom fingers are grabbing the top palm. That's eagle arms. Then put a little bend in the legs and take the right leg and cross it over the left. You can stay right here for eagle or you can raise your foot or you can put a little more bend in the leg and come into a full twist with your legs or you can hold forward for folded eagle and then just push your arms a little further forward. Or you can even come into um, a warrior three with eagle arms by stretching that leg back. I don't think I have room to do it. Um, and then I have my leg bent. It should be straight up with your foot flexed. And then hold it here or wherever you are in your eagle. And bring it in. And give it a good shake. So I'll come forward a little bit again to do the other side. Deep breath in. Stretch up. Swing your left arm under your right. Bring your hands to your shoulders. Elbows are stacked one on top of the other. Or you can bring your hands back to back, or you can wrap them. So your bottom hand is grasping your top palm. That's eagle arms. And then take your, put a little bend in the knees, take your left leg, cross it over your right. Stay right there or raise your foot up or twist your legs together or Fold it for folded eagle or stretch. I'm going to just turn around so you can see what a warrior three looks like with eagle arms. So you're going to stretch that leg back and flex the foot, push the arms forward. So this is a little bit more advanced. Don't worry if you can't do it <laughs> when you're ready. Come down, shake it all out, and twist it out. So, the hard stuff is done. <laughs> okay, now we are going to come into our moon salutation. So, Robert, we're doing it a little differently than the last time. So, pay attention. Take a deep breath and stretch the arms up. Bringing the arms down, interlace your fingers in front of you. And then we're going to flip our hands and push down. So our palms are facing down. Then draw the arms up for a different version of pressing. And then get a tilt to the side. Hold it there. You can look forward or look up. And then come to center and then tilt to the other side. Look forward or look up. Come to center. Stretch out into your star. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw your hands down. Open the chest up. Drop the head back. Lips together. You can just envision floating up to the sky here.
Come back to center. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, pull forward. Drawing the arms up. Keep your head loose. Give your head a shake. Release the arms. Take one hand. Bring it outside the opposite ankle. Stretch the other arm up. Gaze neutral or look up. And then switch sides. Come to center, grasp the elbows, draw your head, and then from the waist, sway side to side, seeing if you can get a little lower with each sway, allowing the gravity to pull your head toward the center of the earth. And some of you know it, this is my favorite pose of all. Pause in the center, take a deep breath in, stretch the arms all the way up to prayer, to heart center. Open up into your goddess. So you're opening your feet up, sink into goddess. Lift your toes up, clamp them down, draw that earth energy in through the feet, up to the core, up in the tailbone, up in the abs. Roll your shoulders back and down, away from the ears. Give your glutes a firm speed, and then release your glutes. Bring your hands to heart center, heel toe in a little bit, and then sink into your garden pose. Use your elbows to push your knees open. If you have a block, you might prefer to sit on the block. You don't actually have to. We're just gonna hold it here for a little bit. If this position is not good for you, you can always come down into a cobbler's position. Um, it's called cobbler's pose or bound angle or butterfly pose. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that. So either stay right there or come into your cobbler, straight back and sit forward. So we just, we just wanna hang out here for a little bit so we can really stretch open our hips. And we are ready to stretch our legs out. So um, I'm going to grab my knee pad. If you don't have one, that's okay. Drop one knee and stretch the other leg out. Lift the foot up. If you need to push your foot a little further down the mat, making sure your toes are trying to point toward your body. Now, if this pose is... Um, not challenging enough for you, you can come into a bind by flipping that foot down, rocking back onto the ball of your other foot, dropping your shoulder inside that leg, reaching behind you, grabbing your fingers, coming into this bind. And release. So we can do the other side. Drop the other knee. And stretch the opposite leg out. Flip the foot up. Push the foot down the mat. Draw your toes to where you hold it there. It's such a nice stretch. Um, if you want to go into the bind, flip that foot down to give you better balance. Drop back onto the ball of your other foot. Drop your shoulder inside that leg. Reach behind you. And grab your fingers. And release. Come into your staff pose. Feet are flexed, back is nice and straight. If you happen to have a strap, you might want to use the strap for your forward fold. It's not necessary, but it feels good. So, take a deep breath and stretch your arms up. 
Exhale, fold forward. You can have that strap. Wrap your feet. Walk your hands to lift your feet. If not, just stretch your arms up as far as they'll go. Trying to keep your back as straight as possible. And release. Take your right foot, tuck it into your left thigh. Take your left arm, plant it behind you. Taking a deep breath and stretch your right arm up. Exhale, full core, reaching for the outside of the left foot or ankle. Release. Come back to staff. Take a deep breath and stretch up. Exhale, pull forward. And come back to center. Other foot. Tuck the other foot in. Keep your right hand planted behind you. Deep breath and stretch the left arm up. Exhale, pull forward. Reaching to the outside of the right leg. Foot. Wherever. You can reach. And release. Give it a little shake and twist. So we are ready for boat pose. So I have an extra mat here, hold it. And I'm going to place it under my rear end so that I have a little more cushioning on my tailbone because that's the, the toughest part I think about boat poses. Um, it can kind of hurt your tailbone. So, have your fingertips in line with the back of your rear end. Your hands are shoulder distance apart. Your legs are bent. Then you can tilt back. You might want to adjust the rear end a little bit. And then raise the legs up. You can hold it right here for your boat pose. Or, stretch your arms out. Or if you want to challenge yourself even further, straighten your legs, open up your arms, and then you just hang out here for as long as you can. <laughs> and then float down. Stretch your arms over your head, point your toes. So you can see why it's my least favorite pose. Because <laughs> it's the hardest one. And then just give it a little shake. So we are ready for our bridge pose. So bend your legs. Have your fingertips so that they touch your heels. Your feet are hip distance apart. Raise the hips up. Roll your shoulders underneath you. Press your hands flat into the mat or make a fist and press the fist into the mat, pushing your hips up as far as you can. Give your knees a little squeeze together for your bridge pose. Then slowly come down, full body stretch, arms overhead, pointing the toes. And we are ready to do it again. It is your choice. You can either do your bridge pose again or you can come into wheel pose. So for bridge, bending the legs, fingertips touching your, your heels, raise the hips up, roll the shoulders underneath you. Press your hands into the mat or make a fist. Press the fist into the mat. If you prefer, you can come into wheel. Don't forget, if you're in bridge, squeeze your knees together. If you're coming into wheel pose, then to shift your rear end closer to your heels. Bring your fingertips to, to your shoulders. And then raise your hips up. And then push up into your wheel. And then slowly come down. Full body stretch here. 
roll onto the tummy. And we will do our bow pose. So bend up the legs, reach around, grab the feet. Kick into the hand, and you can rock here back and forth a little bit if you like. And release the back onto your back, and we are ready to wind down. So if you happen to have your strap, you can use a strap if you don't. Um, you'll just modify. So take a deep breath and stretch up with your strap. Exhale, pull forward. Wrap your feet, walk your hands toward your feet. Give yourself a nice stretch. Then coming back up, release one foot. You still have your strap on. Um, I have it on my right foot. And then draw back. Drawing that leg up, walk your hands up the strap. Drop your opposite arm, gaze to that hand, and drop, open your leg. If you do not have the strap, you'll just bend your leg and press it open with your hand. Back to center, walk your hands back up the strap, drop the other arm, cross it over, gazing at your opposite arm, feeling the stretch in your hip. Feel really good. And back up to center, switch feet. Walk your hands up the strap. Drop your other arm, lift it up your leg. Raising to the opposite arm. Back to center, walk your hands back up the strap, drop the other arm. Leg over, gaze at the other arm. And release full body stretch here. You're ready for Shavasana, so rest your arms on either side of you. Take a deep breath here, in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Take another deep breath in. Exhale any tension that might be left in your body. And then just envision your arms and legs melting into the earth. Your whole body melting into the earth. And we're going to rest here for about a half a minute, beginning with the tincha symbol and ending with the tincha symbol. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, hands and feet. Draw your knees into your chest. Give a little rock side to side. Walk into your fetal position. And then push up into your comfortably seated position. So thank you all for joining me. From my heart to yours, namaste.